Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video, we're going to look at how you can add effects to your machine projects. In machine, you are allowed to have four effects or modules on every sound and every group. And you're also allowed to have four effect slots on the master output. When you think about the number of sounds in each group and the number of groups in each project, you realize that that is a lot of effect slots. So first, let's take a look at how you can load effects. The first way is something that you are probably familiar with when using the browse mode. So if you want to add an effect, you can first click on the modules button, and then you see to the right, we have four different module slots. When we want to add an effect preset, we can go to browse, then change our filter type to effects. We can then change the different type of effect we want. So let's say we want a compressor, and then we can simply click load, and that will load the effect preset. And that's great if you want to use one of the presets that comes with machine, but what about if you want to just add an effect without any settings already? Well, to do that, we'll first get out of browse mode, and we'll undo adding that effect. Next, we're going to press shift and then browse. And this will open up the module browser. You can see this knob here, which will affect the type. If you're set to internal, that's going to be browsing the effects that machine has built in. But you can also change this to plugin, and that will show you all of your VSD plugins. So we'll go back to internal. And now it's important to know the subtype. If we change the subtype to instrument, you'll see that on the right display, we have three options, sampler, input, and MIDI out. It's important to know that these can only go on the very first module of the set. You cannot use them in modules two, three, or four. We're gonna go back to the effect subtype. Now on the right display, we have all of the different effects that come with machine. So if we want a delay, we can simply go down and then add our delay by pressing load. Now we've loaded the standard beat delay. When we want to get out of the module browser, we can simply hold shift and then press browse. Now we can go ahead and adjust all of the different settings that we want right from the machine hardware controller. Now once you have an effect that you really like, you can easily save it as a preset. It's really similar to the way that you would save a group or a project. You want to go to the parameter section of the software and find the particular effect that you want to save. So here we have the beat delay. You want to click on this drop down menu next to the particular effect, and underneath you'll see that there is a save as button. So we'll click that, and then you can save the effect preset to your computer. Now, once you actually save this, you'll see that there is a new user settings in the effects bank. So here we have user, we have it sorted by the type of effects, and you can see that we have an effect down here. So if one will apply this in the future, just double click and it will automatically load that effect preset. This has been an overview of how you can add effects to your machine projects. You can follow the Month of Machine 2012 on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. And don't forget to visit thedjpodcast.com for more reviews, news, and how-tos.